Thanks for joining us tonight. Police are investigating after three teenagers were shot during a funeral reception for the teenager who was stabbed at Harding High School just two weeks ago. Sammy Salina was at El Rio Vista Rec Center today as the community reacted to the gun violence impacting their children. The community filters in and out Something right here. of the El Rio Vista Rec Center in West St. Paul today. And I say, wow, what happened? Through doors that look and feel different. Rec Center staff told us that the bullets actually came through the front door of the building today. It's boarded up. You can still see glass on the ground from last night and a bullet hole that went through the door. Community Center, this is where you go for the community happenings. Absolutely. But yeah, this is a shame. St. Paul police say a white sedan drove by the center and shot through the building as family and friends of Devin Scott, the 15 year old stabbed to death at Harding, were having a funeral reception. They can't even uh, have a memorial service by people shooting through the windows. That's why. That's all I want to know why. Three teenagers were shot, but police said they're expected to live. They said a white sedan crashed a few blocks away and that two men ran from the scene, but law enforcement says they couldn't find them. They did find and take a 16 year old into custody who was running away from the area. Police say he had a gun with him, but they're investigating if he was involved. We thought those were safe sanctuaries for our young people, our children. Reverend Runny Patterson with New Hope Baptist Church in St. Paul said he has officiated too many funerals of young men. But I also have a child who's a student and a scholar at Harding High School. Uh, it's very disheartening, very discouraging. He says funerals can be a dangerous place if there's retaliation. Pastors and churches now have literally closed their doors to a lot of these funeral services because they're concerned about the safety. He says when you walk through doors of schools and rec centers. I want to see our young people live in peace. It should be a safe place. Everywhere you go now, you got to be careful. Sammy Salina. CARE 11 NEWS.